Louder, louder, please. Thank you. Congratulations, uh, sir, for taking over as uh, the first Indian as APU president. I'll now request uh, APU president, Dr. Azad, to address the audience. I have a mixed feeling. I have a feeling of uh, elation. I have a feeling of excitement. I have a feeling of joy and I have a feeling of happiness. But at the same time, there is a great responsibility on me as a president of Asia Pacific Academy of Ophthalmology, which represents 19 member countries, which represents 50,000 ophthalmologists of the world. I understand there is a great onus on me. And I can tell you only this much. And I have always said that whatever is given to me, I will do the justice to the best of my commitment and best of the capabilities. Today I stand in front of you. I was nervous earlier, but not now. I never imagined that one day I will have to give the thanks of acceptance of this high honor. It does give me great satisfaction and feeling of inner well-being that my over 30 years of toil and hard work efforts and experience would confer on me this great honor. This recognition is the courtesy of most esteemed and learned members of the Council of Asia Pacific Academy of Ophthalmology and all the members who are sitting here. I can only tell you that in becoming president of this society, each one of you are the president of this society, not me alone. First thing I wish to state that I will not be a reach to, that I will not be a reach to, but reach out president. I will come to you, I will talk to you, I will learn from you, I will share your problems, and I let people know that we want to do something for the individual members and for the member countries. I have in mind certain agenda. The most important for me is medical education, ophthalmic education. Being in a teaching career for almost now 30 years, I have realized that the future of any society, any country, any institution, any organization lies in the younger generation. And if we don't take care of our younger people, our young ophthalmologists, I think we will not be doing justice as an elders in the organization. And I already have plans, I have discussed with our Secretary General Dennis Lamb and uh, he is very supportive. And all the council members, I believe, will be supporting me in this venture. There are two more things in my mind. One is the diabetic retinopathy. You will say that I'm a retinal surgeon and so I'm being partial. But that is not true. And all of us who are sitting here, we all know this is coming in a big way. And the reasons you well know, know, know very well, is the industrialization, the competitiveness, the economic reasons, and many other reasons increase the chances of diabetes and of course the diabetic retinopathy. So this is one of the important agenda for me and possibly I will see that in coming few years we have developed an action plan 
for the management of diabetic retinopathy in the Asia Pacific region. The other one which is very important in my mind is the corneal blindness. In Asian region and also I believe in the Pacific region, one of the cause of blindness is the corneal diseases. The eye banking. We had a meeting, uh, just, uh, we had a, a session on subspecialty development where we discussed the requirement of the subspecialty in the Asia Pacific region. And the, the eye banking and the requirement of the corneas for keratoplasties, they fall short and they are too much need to be done in this area. So these are the two priorities which I want to take up in coming years. At the next meeting of APO in Tokyo, I hope that I will be able to deliberate on these topics, two topics, and I will invite maybe a few of you as a leaders in diabetic retinopathy and colon diseases to help us out in this noble venture. Lastly, all this can be accomplished with the help and cooperation of each one of you and by setting of a super specialty active working group with members, the best and honored related from all the countries of this region and the world. I firmly, firmly believe two ones make eleven and three ones make 111 and if we get this much and hopefully more I am sure we will have the best goals and high accomplished that I have set up for me before you all. Please allow me to say a few words about a lady. A lady with none other than my wife who has stood with me in all good days and all bad days and brought me to this position today. My word will fail to express my sentiment and emotions to her. I express all my thanks and all my best wishes to all of you and I hope that in future you will all help me in this noble venture. Thank you very much and God bless you.